Microsoft Dynamics 365 is the center of this video. We're going to learn about correct or cancel unpaid purchase invoices or sales invoices. So basically, you can correct or can cancel a post purchase invoice. It's useful uh, if you want to correct your typing mistake or if you want to change that purchase early um, in the order process. If you have already paid for the pro product or you received the, uh, the, the payment, uh, on the postage purchase or sales invoices, you cannot correct or cancel it from the postage purchase or sales invoices itself. So let's see how it works. So if you go to the postage purchase invoices, so what we'll just get an invoice to um, obviously to cancel and obviously to correct it. So let's see if we take this one and we say if we want to correct that. So the question is there, you got three options, cancel, correct or create credit mail. So we will correct this one. It's going to ask you want to continue with that. Yes, we're going to continue with that. Okay, now it's saying what you want to correct it with. So let's say we only need quantity one, we corrected that and we post it again. Okay, uh, I'll resist. Okay, let's change the device number. You can open that, you know, you can open it and check it as well. So the quantity is changed to one. Yeah. So similarly, we go back to uh, the other second uh, patches, process patches and moist. And we're going to cancel this one. We'll wait for it to load fast and we say we're going to cancel that. It's going to ask you, do you want to cancel or continue? Yes, we're going to cancel it. Do you want to see that? Yes, we're going to see that. It's cancelled. There we go, it's cancelled now. And sometimes, you will, if you still want to cancel the game, you can still press the cancel button and it will say. You want to cancel it, you can do that as well if it's not been cancelled. So it should show you to cancel as well. So let's go back to the invoices again. So this one was. We don't need to go in there, sorry. We can see it from there. I'm just going to go back. So you can see once corrected, we corrected that one, and that one is cancelled. So you don't have to go into that. It will change the uh, obviously the uh, correction and uh, cancellation area in the device as well. Here you can see that. Similarly, when we go to the sales, uh, posted sales invoices. You can do the same process with the sales invoices as well. So just to learn, obviously you can do the posted sales or purchase orders. So you're going to say we're going to crack this one. Yes, we're going to continue with that. Uh, yes, that's fine. Okay. So for, uh, for correction, or cancellation. If there's anything where our uh, system needs to make a credit memo, it will make the credit memo automatically. Let's say we want one. And then post it again. Yes. And we don't want to see that now. So let's go back to this one. And we say we're going to cancel this one. We don't need it anymore. So, do you want to continue? Yes, we can do that. Yes, we're going to open it. So, you can open it as well, obviously, to see if it's cancelled as well. So, 
normally says correct or cancel here obviously it's going to take some time to update the document so I will show you cancellation or correction as well so here you can see obviously strain is cancelled but one of them is obviously corrective so you change that quantity from 5 to 1 so it's created a new one with, one, uh, with the quantity amount 1 um, that's the one I think we can set here uh, corrective uh, we made the correction on yeah that was 5 so for some reason obviously the system is not showing corrective here but obviously it's made a new sales um, invoice and this is how you um, if you make any mistake is a good option in business central that you can change um, or you can correct it or you can cancel it before you have already been paid or you've received the payment from the post purchase invoices or post sales invoices just want to mention if there's any partial invoices uh, posted also if it's if the cancellation is related to a partial invoice posted then the originated purchase order line is updated to reflect the cancellation invoice to quantity the quantity invoice and quantity invoice fields on the related purchase order line are reset to in value uh, before the partial posting so I hope you understand the uh, basics of correct, uh, correction and cancellation of invoices in uh, posted purchase invoices and posted sales invoices Thanks for watching.